a narrative story building on last week, or a cartoon. So, well, we've made her a woman. I'm not sure what that means, but that's how we related to frustrations and feelings. We thought woman. So, here she is. And um, she, she you know says, she I'm is. not sure what I'm doing wrong. So, we think that the first thing she needs to do is some critical reflection. She could take a PG cap. She could read, but she needs to take stock and think about why is she so teacher-centric. So she needs to move from being teacher-centric and uh, to move towards being more student-centric in both the learning and the assessment. Because right now, she's giving them the material and she's giving them the references, and she loves her essay title. Okay, so it's all about her. And. Okay, so having gone through this reflection and, and reached a bit more understanding about what she wants out of uh, assessments and how she could do them differently, she starts to think, well, actually, maybe just giving them, you know, 150 individual essays each at the end of the module isn't the best plan because that way she only finds out what they can do right at the end of the module when it's kind of too late for the students or her to address any problems that the students may be having with, with the module, which she says herself is challenging. So if it is such a challenging module, that's her light bulb. Yeah, her light bulb moment when she realizes, ah, oh, I don't need to wait till the end of the module. So if it is such a challenging module, then perhaps she needs to know, you know, at various points along the course of the module, what's going on. Are the students getting it? Are they, um, are they happy with the way she's teaching them? So the, the, the sort of formative feedback, if you like, could go both ways. So she needs to find ways of finding out what the students know right along the. Um, module in a formative kind of way and that way everyone, her as well as the students, get a chance to fix things. So she starts looking at all the different kind of assessment possibilities there are, there are and she discovers that there's a world of possibilities in assessing people. Essay is just is one of them. She may still go for the essay but there are others as well. Did you want anything? Um, just to say that on the different assessment types in that folder on Blackboard. Mm -hmm. There were quite a lot of useful resources from various universities. Um, there was a good one from uh, UCL and they kind of list all these different assessment types with the with the pros and cons of them as well. Mm -hmm. so it was quite a nice way of trying to decide what, what you might want to try. Um, and we also felt that, that in terms of the kind of, it, part of the problem was having a single um, form of assessment as well and that if you did need, if you did want them to do something quite substantial, which she obviously is getting them to do, but maybe you need to break that down further on so that, so, that, so that they have to do part of that assessment at the beginning, to kind of do it in stages, have to do a, a review at one stage. Maybe you can go show their title, as um, David was explaining, to these students, so that they're engaged with that big piece of work right from the beginning. That's a sort of way of making one bit of work forward to. Yeah. Now I was saying as well that I was speaking with um, a guy who teaches digital journalism by prominence in that field at the um, City of Birmingham. And I was talking to him about how he assesses his um, MA students. And he says that um, usually he just tells them, show me you've learned something. And that is the, the assessment. So they have to go away and find some way of showing him that they've learned something. It might be a piece of journalism. It might be a dissertation or whatever. And I'm sure there's, some, there's a bit more negotiation than he was, he was letting on with some kind of parameters. But that's basically what he tells them to do. He doesn't tell them, go away and make a radio program or something. Show them that they've learned something. Do you want to bring us home, James? Why not? Um, this bit here was um, just before the end. Which is, um, whatever method you choose to do the assessment, you have to make sure that the parameters that are set are well defined. You have to say, you have to give the students sort of a tick box approach to say, how am I going to get the marks? That's how much these students tend to kind of view things very mechanistically. Um, so that was what criteria are you going to grade against? How are you going to mark against? And then finally, having done all that, you get to the last bit, which is putting your feet up with a cup of coffee, perhaps an Irish coffee. Um, <laughs> because you, you've sorted out all your problems, everything flows a lot more smoothly, and you've got more time for research. <laughs>